3D billboard ads are arguably the hottest thing in advertising right now. So for marketers wanting to make their own mark on the trend, the drum has gathered experts to learn how to produce them. Anamorphic billboards first began popping up in Asia just a couple years ago, with some of the most notable activations including giant 3D waves breaking over Seoul's Gangnam district, and an enormous cat presiding over passerbys in Tokyo. Since then, and thanks to social media, these illusions have grown in popularity, wowing people all over the world. And this has led to many brands wanting to have a go at it themselves, including Nike and Balenciaga. This is where people like Samuel Guillotel come in. Guillotel is an art director at creative company 20-something, giving us some insight into how these outstanding out-of-home ads are actually made. He tells us Cinema 4D is the standard program within the industry. We also use Houdini for specific things because there's more depth. Octane, Unreal Engine, and Adobe Suite are also other go-to tools popular with agencies. These apps enable people to model, render, and create 3D assets for clients. Traditionally, the tech is employed in SFX, gaming, and VR AR. The process of creating this work can be lengthy and requires microscopic attention to detail if they are to look realistic. For Subway's recent 3D interactive billboard, making the sandwich look as edible as possible was key. They even spent time photographing individual bits of lettuce and got up close and personal with different variations of bread. Next, it's crucial to select the right space for the billboard. No matter the brand, it's the impact that counts. Where will it be seen by the most amount of people? We always try and make one or two bits that will end up in the news, explains Ash Prentice, senior creative at Above and Beyond. It's an industry on the cusp and it will continue to thrive. I'm a big believer that the advertising world as we know it will change because the traditional spaces are shifting from normal billboards and user experience to interactivity, notes Guillotel. It could be a filter on Instagram. It's not new tools, they're just being developed. It's a new playground, really. Of course, with every marketing push, there are many KPIs and targets that need to be met. A stumbling block with these types of activations is what actually constitutes as a success. The biggest measure of success is social virality, adds Blunt Action's co-founder Ethan Jacob. If the post isn't blowing up, then the effect is probably not hitting as strong in person. It's been established that 3D billboards are the thing of the moment, but can the trend keep up the momentum, or will people begin to tire of it? It's not just a billboard with a good line, there's something that boggles the mind. You look at it rather than just to walk past it, adds Tim Vandermeer, senior creative at Above and Beyond, before stating that every brand loves a new technique, but if it gets done over and over, it has the potential to become boring to some. Regardless of longevity, it is an exciting time for creatives in this space. Technology is rapidly accelerating. You're always trying to stay on top and experiment with different things, concludes Jacob. Eventually, there's probably going to be fully hologram biometric billboards. For now, we're staying with this 2D screen that has the 3D effect, and there's still a long way to go with that.